Currently, I am in Muskogee, Oklahoma. I'm gonna show you the location of where a brutal family murder occurred on February 2nd of 2021. So on that night, 911 dispatch received a call from one Jaron Dijon Pridgen indicating that there were seven people shot in the household. It was two adults and five children. The two adults were Brittany Anderson, the mother, 24 year old Javarion Lee, Jaron's brother, and then five children, nine year old Cadence Anderson, six year old Nevaeh Pridgen, five year old Harmony Anderson, three year old Jadis Pridgen, and one year old Jaliah Pridgen. When the police and ambulance arrived, they seen Jaron holding a handgun and told him to drop the weapon. He immediately ran into the woods right here and there was a short foot chase. He dropped the gun. They took him into custody. And when they got inside, they seen Brittany Anderson laying in the living room, but still cautious. And the children, along with Javarion, were already dead. This guy killed six people, five kids, including his brother. And this is the house right here where the shooting occurred. I was here about five days after the shooting and that van, that's the family's van. It still has not moved. It's still in the same exact spot. It still has the same balloons in there and everything. Five children, all shot and killed by their father. Absolutely horrific. So right now we're gonna drive up the street uh, to the cemetery where the children are buried. This is the children's graves. I find it odd how this story didn't get any kind of real national media attention. You can see Cadence's phone right there. I guess since the media is busy uh, showing whatever divisive politics that they want to show on their nightly news networks, I, for one, am here to show you that these kids did not get a chance to grow up. They didn't get a chance to do anything that we take for granted every day as adults. Best believe, as long as I'm alive, the common man, the common woman, the common child will always have an outlet, at least on my channel, to let their stories be known that they were alive. And they went to school. And they played with their friends. 
and they want it to grow up and they want it to be a police officer, an astronaut, a firefighter, whatever you want it to be. And that was taken away from them. Look at that, six days before that baby was gonna turn two. Tragic, very tragic. Kind of at a loss for words, so. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'm on to the next vlog. God bless, be safe. I'll see you. Peace.